Uh, let me talk about flattening the curve versus eradicating the disease. Uh, now, the, the whole policy has been to try to avoid this light blue line. Without protective measures, uh, the, the, the dashed blue line of the capacity healthcare system, this is the notional curve I'm sure you all have seen, um, the, it, it, you get a, a number of cases that is above the dashed blue line, you've overwhelmed the healthcare system, you get mass death. Uh, we've seen that. We see that in Wuhan, I think to some extent we saw it in New York. Um, uh, if you have protective measures, you flatten out the spread of the, the, when the disease happens, and so you never exceed capacity. The, the point I want to make is that the area in the light blue line is the same as the area in the dark blue. The same number of cases eventually happen. The only question is when. The, um, uh, it, there was a very interesting paper, uh, uh, post, and, uh, and I assume paper by, uh, by, uh, by two um, math, mathematicians, um, Chikina and Pagden, who when it, they, they labeled the paper a call to honesty in panic, mo pandemic modeling. They re-evaluated the, uh, models like the one that led to the lockdown policies. What they said was, okay, well, you have a flat curve what, as long as you have uh, the lockdown. But what happens after you remove the lockdown? Well, you see a very, very sharp increase in the number of cases. The, the models imply that you're not you're not eradicating disease. The models imply that you're just wait, you're just delaying when they happen. You either pay the cost now or you pay the cost later. Uh, so the lockdowns are not a mechanism for disease eradication. They'll only delay when the disease happens. Okay, 